What's going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is me. We have Shelby in the boat. Hello. And uh, that's kind of awkward now. It was. <laughs> wow. Starting it out right. It's always should, awkward. Should I do a retake or no? No, I well, don't care. All right, we'll leave it. Today we are totally mixing up. Um, straight curveball here. We are not walleye fishing because the walleye bite has sucked and I probably could catch some and get a walleye video today, but it'd be too repetitive and I don't want to do that. So we're doing something different. Something we get requested a fair amount and that is summertime crappie fishing. We're actually on a lake I used to spend a million hours on. We are on the infamous chip of flowage here in northern Wisconsin. And if you're a flowage fisherman, if you're a reservoir fisherman, um, if this is kind of your thing, this video should be very helpful. Um, I probably have not done this in six or seven years, come out here and actually targeted crappies in the open water. Um, so this is definitely gonna be nostalgic and interesting, and it's probably gonna take a little bit because I deleted all my waypoints to actually find some of these spots again. But we're gonna walk you guys through the process, how we find them in the summer, and uh, how we catch them, and we're actually gonna keep some fish for Shelby. Fish. Fish fry. Shelby likes fish I fries. Fish fry. I'm not a big fish fry guy myself, but Shelby is. And uh, what do you think? Are we gonna have fun? I will always, I always have fun. All right, punch the camera out. Let's go. All right, well, we've been driving around for a little while now looking and it's been so long that I don't really remember and that the waypoints are long gone from when I used to spend time out here. And we're cruising around one of these big giant soft bottom areas. And what we're looking for is some kind of knob right in the bottom, one of these soft bottom pumps, and then a huge stack of fish right on top of it. And I think we've kind of found what we're looking for here. So I'm putting right back into the wind right now. And the goal here is to spot lock basically right over top of these fish. And we're coming into them now. And the fish are down, it looks like about 15 feet right in that zone. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot here for you guys. There might even be two pods of fish, I don't know. This is looking pretty interesting. All right, so I'm gonna screenshot it for you guys here. And that big glob that's all stacked there, those are probably all crappies and bluegills. So now I'm a little bit past it. I'm just gonna back up till I'm right on top of them. Because boat control is always incredibly important. It'll also let us gauge our depth really well if we can watch our jigs just go down on sonar. All right, so I'm camped out right over top of these fish right now. Spot lock. Now it is time to deploy some crappy baits. Got him? Yep. Oh, it's a Ooh, nice one. Nice keeper, crappy. Hold that one up. This is your first time I think you've ever summer crappie fished with me out here. I don't think that's true. You think you did before? Yeah, you can't get him on the hooks, but it's a nice one. Maybe. He's a good keeper. Yep. 10 inch range. There we go. Fish on. Decent little crappie. He's a little keeper sized one. That's what we're looking for. Look at that guy. Little scrapper. We'll throw him in the mix. Oh, shelfster, another nice one. Oh. <laughs> Look at that one. So exciting. You're just getting all slimed up right now. I am. Um... Nice one. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. This is for you. I noticed. I requested this. Good. Also, walleye fishing right now so. ain't so good. It's a beauty. Throw them in there. We're getting a little fish fry going. We're going to have a nice fish fry. Look at that. There we go. I don't think he's too big. He's not too bad. They are eating that little crappie scrub today. Just that little double paddle tail on there. Little tungsten ice jig. Don't put them away, just use them all summer, I guess. He's another good keeper. We'll throw him in. We probably just about got enough for a fish fry already. All right guys, the rigging. The rigging for this is really pretty simple. Um, there's kind of two ways probably most guys fish for crappies in the summer. One is probably with a slip bobber and the other one's probably just a straight jig on. 
I like a slip bobber because it's a very visual bite, which is always fun, and it's very easy easy to manipulate depth. You know, you can. It's very easy to if all the fish are 17 feet down to set this at 15 feet down and know you're good to go, right, with the slip bobber. So that's what we're doing. And if you are going to slip bobber crappies, one thing you're going to want is uh, some kind of bobber with brass grommets on the end, because if you're not dealing with a lot of weight to pull that line through, you definitely want it to slide very easy. This is the fill wobble bobber uh, and a 16th ounce definitely gonna work get the job done for you and then we're all we're running in there is just a little eighth ounce slider weight for a little bit of weight and this is very important because it gets our bait down fast a lot of times for guys that they're fishing deep water panfish and they don't put this in there it takes forever to get that bait down to the fish and then a lot of times your bobber is always kind of sitting halfway crooked in the water run a little bit more weight it stays out of the way of the fish and the fish definitely don't care and if it's much quicker to fish this way then swivel obviously and then we're running about three feet of six pound line just mono and we're actually running little tungsten ice fishing jigs on here and uh, you know they're obviously super good and it, this is also another deal where it adds a little bit more weight gets your whole thing down there a little bit quicker right and uh, it's very efficient to fish this way uh, these jigs obviously come in a million colors this is just your regular acme pro grade tungsten on here i want to say this is like a four mil or a five mil size then on the back all we're running is just the time tested kaylin's crappie scrub i think this is a one and three quarter inch and what i do when i put it on here is i actually just cut a little bit off the front of it and this bait's super cool because it's got two appendages you can see how much they move i mean when they're underwater they're always constantly moving and one thing you'll see us do a lot is we'll cast this out we'll let it sit for a second then we'll just kind of hop it and drag it a little ways and these two little appendages just start squiggling all around and then that bait comes to a stop and most of the time that's right when you get hit um, and this bait's caught a million fish like i said we'll go ahead and link all this stuff down below um, rod any kind of ultralight light action rod i'm fishing with the elliott rod seven foot light fast this is a super fun rod for any really anything very light application a lot of times we'll even use this rod for light application walleye and small all stuff too uh, but super versatile setup and then just a little pissy fun uh carbon x 1000 on the bottom and i like running braid for my main line that part doesn't really matter a lot for crappies because you don't have to set the hook very hard but i just have braid on a lot of my reels so that's kind of the setup and the main reason this is so effective is because it's very efficient right the worst thing you can do when you're crappie fishing or really any kind of fishing is struggle to get your bait around the fish and struggle to know where you are in the water column. If you just were to cast this jig, which is what a lot of people do, without any weight up above it, it's very hard to know right where you are in the water column. And then if you start getting wind on top of that and the boat's kind of swinging around weird, anytime that wind cups your line, this thing's lifting up. Um, so think about being efficient, you know, fishing very quick. We got the weight built right below the bobber, the heavier tungsten on there, and it's very quick to get down and get it in front of fish. Oh, look at that, right away. Just pulled up into this little spot, and look at that. Nice crappie on the crappie scrub right away. I'm kind of fishing a little different spot here. This is more of a, uh, this lake's kind of split into two sides. One side is all soft bottom, like humps and stuff. The other side's all these old river channels, and these crappies love sitting on, right up on top, watch out, Shelby, of some of these old river channel fingers and if I show you on the graph here what we're looking at you can actually see them pretty good right here and on down imaging we're actually out on a point right on the edge of a river channel that's where this fish are sitting oh Shelby's got a good one fish shot oh look at that one Shelby still a decent one though What do you think? Yeah. Happy with it. Drop it. Fish on. Just saw him on sonar. Drop down. Another nice crop dog there. We'll pop him off. This is exactly what we're after. Tons of crappies in this lake. All right, so there's kind of three different spots we were looking for fish today. And uh, one of these spots is basically soft bottom humps, which is kind of the first spot we fished. And flowages a lot of times have a lot of diversity as far as you know what kind of structure you might find around the lake. 
and the first spot we started was a big soft bottom basin with all these soft humps and a lot of times you have crappies bundled up over the top you know some kind of picture that looks something like this right here and uh, you know there's a lot of crappies and there's a lot of bluegills and a lot of mixed size in there um, another thing we checked was cribs something that looks like this right here you know turn on your side imaging you're gonna see all these cribs and the cribs are pretty blank we did not find a lot of fishing cribs which is kind of common for summer on some of these lakes um, a lot of times fall is definitely the time when those fish really cluster up in the cribs but the other spot we checked is like channel points and these are kind of like the underrated spot which um, when I remember when I used to do a lot of fishing out here were always the spots where there'd be nobody on them and always have the most fish and what these are is generally if you have a you know a, a river channel like goes through many of these reservoirs or flowages and then you, what you have is a point that sticks out from the shoreline maybe from a piece of structure maybe from a hump whatever out into that channel that kind of plateaus at that 13 to 17 feet those fish love just kind of sitting close to bottom on those points and those screenshots look something like this right here and the screenshot is much less impressive than a screenshot of that bog hump but what you have to remember about fishing a bog hump like that um, or a soft bottom hump is that all those fish are stacked vertically right so whatever you see there is only that many of them there on one of these big channel points um, basically what there is is you know there might you might only have four or five fish on your sonar at a time but it's like that for 30 yards on some of these flat plateau tabletop points so um, keep that in mind those are kind of the three spots I look for crappies on these kind of flowages or reservoirs in the summer and uh, we're gonna get back to catching them there we go just like power slip bobber and walleyes, power slip bobber and crappies. And we got a nice slabber on here. This might even be the best one of the day. No, he ain't the best one of the day, but he's definitely a good one. All we're doing is driving around these little channel points. Look at that, Surly. Look at that crappie. Picking them off. And I'll show you exactly what we're doing here. So we're about to probably come back through this pod. And I'm starting to see him. Shelby's got one on, so we're definitely close. Yeah, we're all over. We're all over fish. Shelby's got a good one too. How is it, Shelby? Good one? Yep. Nice. Hold him up to the old camera one. Not as nice as yours, but still a good one. Respectable. Down, got him. Yep. Fish Whoa. on. A nice one. Right under the boat. Look at that. Hold them out. Instagram worthy. Okay. Put the rod down. Get, get them better. Get Did you have fun? I had a great time. I always have a great time fishing. And we got some good one to eat. Yes, I can't wait for fish fry. It's the only reason I fish, pretty much. That and the Instagram likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. All right, well that is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Something I don't get the opportunity to do a lot. We've probably been out here for, I don't know, two or three hours. We spent most of it driving around looking for fish, but when we found them, we definitely caught them. And uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully if you're a flowage fisherman, this was informational for you. Let me know if you guys wanna see more stuff like this. Um, I know we're so exclusively walleye because I know most of you guys probably would rather watch the walleye content, but if you like this multi-species stuff, we'll definitely keep doing more. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. And actually kind of an exciting announcement. I just now remembered this and I was meaning to do it this morning in a video I filmed, but I actually did not catch enough walleyes doing that for a video. So bear with me here for a second. You guys have also asked for this and I am the last person I ever thought would do this because I don't think I'm that cool, but um, if you guys want to support this channel and uh, keep these videos rolling, I take did, it. what's that? <laughs> take it off. <laughs> take it off, we're getting it off. I did come out with, down Surly, a t-shirt. If you guys want to order this, um, it's linked right below this video. And uh, yeah, we greatly appreciate it. It is not cheap fishing every day. And I really enjoy making these YouTube videos for you guys. So if you guys want to wear the cool Tom Bowley shirt and be cool and say hooked up all the time and say what's going on guys every day, um, <laughs> feel free to check it out down below. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Probably should have made this sales pitch at the beginning of the video, but that's all right. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. If you're not yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.